Hey everyone, it's Tuesday. Today I'm going to talk to you about Greek mythology. I told you a few Greek mythology stories before, but I'm going to tell you another one because this one's even better. It's like the creation of the universe, um, yeah, and just what happened to Uranus. It's very exciting. I love it. Um, <laughs> so once upon a time, there was chaos. Literally, it was called chaos. Um, it would be ageless, timeless, spaceless, basically what we would think of as before the Big Bang. Uh, and then out of chaos came Gaia and Uranos. Gaia was Mother Earth, Uranos, Father Sky. And they made a lovely couple because Uranos was like, hey, Gaia, you're looking pretty good there. Because, you know, even Greek gods gotta get it on. Um, I would argue especially Greek gods because, you know, have you seen Zeus's track record? Honestly. But yes. So yeah, Gaia didn't mind, so they had sex. And then um, from Gaia and Uranos was born the ocean. Right, and then Uranos liked it, so uh, he had more sex with her. And Gaia didn't mind at first. Uh, they had like night, uh, they, yeah, they gave birth to night and like dawn and dusk and whatever. Um, but eventually they gave birth to Helios, which was the god of the sun. And... Uh, Gaia was like cradling him or whatever, and then Uranos was like, hmm, I like this one, I'm gonna take him for myself. So yeah, uh, Uranos took Helios and put him in the sky so that he's in his own Uranos' domain. And then Gaia was like, no, my son! I just realized the pun there. Okay, yes, he was like, no, my son, I want you next to me, but I have to observe you from afar. And from then, she kind of disliked Uranos. Um, yeah, but Uranos was still attracted to Gaia, so, you know, they kept having sex, and Gaia was liking it less and less, and eventually they had the Titans. And then they had the youngest Titan, Cronus. And, like I said, he- oh, uh, well, no, I didn't say. Cronus was the youngest, and he was also the runtiest. So, like, he was smaller than the rest of them. And Uranos was like, ew, you're smaller than the rest of them. Uh, so he didn't like Cronus very much because he thought he was weak and stuff. So Cronus, in turn, didn't like his father uh, so much. And as mentioned, Gaia wasn't a huge fan of Ur Uranos at this point, so they kind of plotted against Uranos. And eventually Gaia, like, got his her son a scythe, or however you pronounce that, a sharp thing, and then um, Cronus took that sharp thing and chopped his father's genitals off. Because that's what you do when you got a sharp thing and you're mad at your dad, and you're a Greek god. Yeah, so um, then uh, Uranus, you know, blood drips from where the wound was, because that's how it works, apparently. And then yeah, the blood kind of fell into parts of, onto parts of the earth, and that created volcanoes, apparently because of the seething rage or something. So yeah, that's how volcanoes were created. Um, <laughs> now you know. And uh, then I think Cronus like, chopped up the rest of his father, too. And then uh, Uranus died. So then Cronus is left with this prize. Um, the book I was reading called it a prize. <laughs> Um, yeah, so Cronus had his father's genitals, and he's like, hmm, I guess I'll just chuck him into the ocean. So he chucked him into the ocean. Uh, and then they were, like, sitting in the ocean for a little while, and then they began to fizz and with energy. And then uh, they kind of exploded, and then from the sperm that was in the, the genitals came Aphrodite, the goddess of love and beauty. There you go. So now that's quite a few origin stories. The origin of the universe, the origin of volcanoes, and the origin of beloved Aphrodite. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed that little story time. Uh, I'm sure this will be used as a teaching material in classrooms around the world. Because it's just so expert. Yeah, oh, no, if I want that to happen, I have to make this a professional YouTube video. It would have been helpful if I, like, edited and did jump cuts and where, when appropriate, but no, I'm not that professional. I'm just going to be a little bit professional and say, if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Question of the day, 
Um, who's your favorite Greek god? Please tell me in the comments below. I'd love to read through them. All right. Thank you. Bye, guys.